Happy Holidays, fam. Oh my God, we have grown. Welcome to the new subscriber. Welcome, welcome to a returning subscriber. Welcome back. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas sharing love with your family and friends and also neighbors. And I hope you haven't overindulged when it comes to food. And if you did and you have gained some extra pounds, worry not, just follow my previous videos. They are going to guide you on your journey, weight loss journey. Okay, guys. So welcome to my YouTube channel. It's a girl, Lizzie. Today I'm going to talk to you about keto and um, intermittent fasting because I, I did both of them. And if you want great results, do both fast keto and intermittent fasting. You do both of them and you will see great results uh, in regards to your weight loss. Okay, guys. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the like button. Press the notification bell so that you don't miss any video that I upload. Okay. Um, I have a lot to share with you and also I've been reading your comments guys and I've heard you and I've uh, I will do my best so that I can share every details okay guys so today I want to talk to you about the pros and cons of keto diet according to me the, uh, this weight loss journey it's, it's according to my experience so if maybe you feel like it doesn't uh, go hand in hand with you. You see, our bodies are different. They act differently. So bear with me. It's all about my journey. And I'm trying to help maybe their people uh, may experience the same thing. So yes, so let's get started. What is keto? Keto is an eating plan that focuses on foods that are mainly that have healthy fats that that are high high in healthy fats uh, also foods uh, moderate proteins and foods that are low in carbs and uh, when i say low in carbs i mean low low to 25 grams per day like you eat 25 grams of carbohydrates per day and if you feel find it challenging that you can't do 25 grams per day you can try 50 grams yes it also works okay so that's it uh, that's all about keto and the foods you're supposed to eat and then intermittent fasting it's all about uh fasting it's all about meal plan whereby you you focus mainly on the the timing the time that you eat so it's uh, basically like um, a time plan uh, a time schedule for of the times that you eat so um, there are 18 hours of fasting and then you eat uh, say for 6 hour period there is eight, there is 16 hours for fasting and then 8 hour period of eating and then there is 20 hour fasting four hour period of eating and then there is 24 hours you don't eat anything for 24 hours there is uh omad where you eat one meal a day you can decide uh, whichever time but you only eat once and then there is 72 hours there of fasting there is 36 hours of fasting 48 hours of fasting some go up to seven days of fasting it all depends on uh, how your body is and before you do any any intermittent fasting please consult or any uh, starting your keto diet please consult with your doctor to see if you're fit uh, to do any of them okay guys so let's talk about the prawns uh, of the pro the pros and cons of keto let's start with cons so what happened to me the first three weeks the first one two three weeks okay so on the first week i got insomnia yes i didn't sleep for like three consecutive days i would go it's to bed early insomnia i haven't slept at all tonight
now it's exactly 6 15 in the morning last night the whole of last night i didn't find any sleep there was no sleep at all like i was wide awake i tossed and turned in my bed like oh my god that's the reason why like i didn't get enough sleep but with time let me tell you after three days yes the the fourth day i started uh finding sleep but before that uh, before that i would i i searched to see what hacks i could um that i did so that i could get sleep and uh, i found out that uh, showering with cold water before sleep it actually helped and that's what i did i would shower with cold water and then uh before bed and uh, with time the fourth day the fifth day now i started uh, my sleep schedule came back to more, to to normal and then i started sleeping well so yes so that's the basically the first sign that i noticed and then the second thing that i noticed when uh, i started keto diet is that my bowel movement changed i used to go frequently for uh, frequently but now when i started my the first not the first like the whole uh, the whole month that i did keto my bowel movement wasn't great like i would go once a week twice a week and it really bothered me a lot so i found some hacks where it it helped uh, i would uh, take uh, two tablespoon of olive oil on an empty stomach so that it that it can push me to go and then um but i i came to realize that it wasn't uh, i'm not the only one some people uh constipate like they go through constipation something that i didn't so it all depends with your body how it 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 responds to to keto yes and uh, if you are having troubles maybe with constipation i i saw that it's good to 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 eat foods that are high in, in fiber you know yes and also it's very good to eat uh, to drink two tablespoons of um, two tablespoon of olive oil it really helped me like it really helped me so if you're having and if you're constipated or maybe your bowel movement uh, they have changed try taking two tablespoons of olive oil and then the that thing that i that that thing that um, happened to me my menstrual cycle changed Yes, uh, I had a normal 28 day uh, cycle, but uh, ever since I started um, keto diet, it changed. Now it became irregular. It's now it goes um the first month it went with uh I it it delayed for a whole month. And then when it came back now I have like a 30 day cycle. So my menstrual cycle changed. It's because uh, my progesterone I think I got it right. The progesterone levels now they are low, and when they are low, uh, my menstrual cycle changed, and that's what happened. But it's not some. It's not uh, to uh, a cause of alarm because uh, as long as I'm, I, I'm think I'm healthy. I'm healthy, so it's not something to to worry about. And then the that thing that happened. The other thing that happened is that um, I became weak. I became weak, I became fatigued. I I had a brain fog where like uh, I had a lot of, um it's called a keto flu. Yeah, keto flu. Yes, yeah, so this is something that people uh, experience a lot. I think it's because uh, you know I'm not uh, when you are doing keto you're limiting uh, your the amount of carbs and uh, when you don't eat carbs i think there are some nutrients that are missing so you find that you find uh, your loss of energy but it only happens for the first few weeks before your get your body gets adjusted yes yeah, so i was weak for the and, and then i had like uh, headaches frequent headaches so what i did to help me cope with the headaches i drank a lot of water to help me get hydrated and i also took uh, coffee yes uh, coffee helped me but i didn't like overdo it i didn't overdo the coffee so it helped me but with time with time i i got used to keto keto got used to my body and uh, 
headaches disappeared the loss of the the, the brain fog disappeared and i got good uh, yes so this um now shifts to the pros of keto after one to two weeks after all the negative effects of keto now this is what happened weight loss yes that's that's the pro number one weight loss i i lost 10 kilograms in a month so that's a good thing even though i had some challenges it was worth it i i lost a lot of kilos i lost my inches i felt good about myself i felt great yes another pro that uh, uh, that comes with keto is that it clears your skin it gives uh, it uh, it do away with uh, acne yes so i think it's because now you you are limiting uh, the amount of carbs you are eating uh, and that is that includes sugar so like your face changes it becomes smoother and that's the good thing and then another another pro is that i slept well yeah it's ironical like i i, I began with insomnia uh, but uh, as time goes on i started to sleep well my sleep pattern was very great i would sleep up to eight hours no no interruptions throughout like in the middle of the night it felt so good yes yeah, so that's another pro uh, when it comes to keto diet and then the another pro is that huh, it gives you energy yes you know like when you are in ketosis now like uh, when you are in ketosis now you are burning 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 fat it helps you and let me tell you if you want to to be in ketosis kindly 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 add intermittent fasting while doing keto add intermittent fasting because that it will be a fat burner like you, you won't imagine so that's what i that's what i did and now because now my body it's a it's a fat burning machine now i'm more energetic i feel so alive yes that's because of keto the pros of keto and then the the last point about keto the pros about keto is that it makes you feel good yes because now i feel like i'm i it makes me it i'm more he, i'm healthier i'm more energetic i'm energetic my skin has improved now my self-esteem is very high like i have a high self-esteem i feel good about myself i i i, I can now interact with people uh, and it feels good to know when someone uh, asks you, "Oh my God, do you look good? What what have you been doing?" And I'm like, "Oh, it's keto, the wonders of keto." Yes, yeah, so keto has helped me um, feel good about myself. And uh, guys, that's it for today. The pros and cons of uh, keto and intermittent fasting they go hand in hand, and that's that's the reason I have I've included intermittent fasting. So guys, if you have liked my video, don't forget to hit that like button. <laughs> and also, uh, if you have a, if you are a new subscriber, thank you so much. I uh, we I appreciate you, and I will be uploading more videos. Okay, if you are watching and you haven't subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for your support. See you next time. Bye.